Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Hi, in this video we're going to look at kind of rulers and measuring things. We do this for two reasons. One is that we want some even spacing between boxes. And also we might be doing this because the person building the website, if it's not us, might want the measurements um, to know how far apart things should be or the padding between objects. So to do this, there's two ways. There's the official way and then there's the way that I use. Now the official way of doing it is to use the ruler tool. Now the ruler tool is hiding underneath the eyedropper tool here. If I click hold, 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 there he is there. Grab the ruler tool. And say I wanna measure the distance between this more button and the box underneath it. What I do is I click and hold and drag and measurements, what you'll see is in the top left hand up in the app bar that the measurements are changing as I'm dragging this around. Now, um, by default, it's kind of stretching goes anywhere. Okay, what I wanna do is hold down the shift key to lock it in this kind of like vertical position. So I can scroll it down. You'll see there it's set to, you see here it's 77 pixels between this one and this one. Now, what you have to do is zoom in a little bit just to ensure that it's actually very close. Okay, and you can see, because I was so far out, it hasn't been perfect. So I can click, hold, and drag it just to clean it up and say, actually, I want it to be there. Okay, now it's more like 81 pixels. Now that's the official way. I'm going to clear my rulers, okay, to get rid of it. And I'm gonna zoom out by holding Command or Control minus. Now that's the official measuring tool, and it's great. What is better, though, is to use the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool here um, has a big benefit in the fact that it snaps to the edges of things on the page, whereas we had to do some adjustments with the ruler tool afterwards to make sure it was all measured right. So watch this. I'm going to measure the distance between here and here. I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and see all these like pink lines that are appearing everywhere. That's because it's trying to line up with lots of different things on the pages. Mine's quite a complex page, so there's lots of things it's trying to line up with, but it's pretty good at just snapping. Watch this. If I just drag it down here, it's pretty good. It got out 81 pixels. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and double check. That's bang on. It is. Perfect. Now the rectangle tool is really good for spacing out objects as well. So I'm going to delete this layer down here. I'm going to zoom out a bit and move down, holding my spacebar, click and drag down, and I'm going to zoom in here um, to my little portfolio list. Now I've got some even spacing between these two objects. I'm using our column widths. So watch this view, show, and I'm going to turn on our guides. You can see there I've used the spacing between these columns. Now what I want to do is make sure that the spacing is exactly the same between here, and it's obviously not. So to make it perfect, what I can do is using my rectangle tool, I can click, hold, and drag a rectangle between these two, and you'll notice that, you see it snapped to the edges, perfect. But you notice that I want it to be perfectly square, so I'm gonna undo that by going to edit, step backwards, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key while I'm um, drawing my rectangle, if I hold the shift key, it'll lock the constraints. You can see it's 30 pixels by 30 pixels now. Now if I use my move tool, click, hold and drag them down and we use them like a spacer. I'm gonna snap them to the bottom of that. There he is there. Now I'm gonna move this image up. Now sometimes it doesn't snap, okay? So in this case it's not. And what you can do is you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to bump it up. So using rectangles is a good way to make sure that the padding is the same between these images and the same underneath here. The only trouble with them is that they are physical, okay? Which means this thing here is going to print, okay? Or go out on your mock-up. So to just make sure when you are finished with it that you select it in your layers panel and you delete it. All right, and that's how you measure up things in Photoshop. Now, I love to share, so I've made a few of these videos free. Of course, though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe, and hi to our good YouTube people. Now, I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?